Las Vegas. So over the weekend, the Raiders lost to the Vikings in their first preseason matchup. Oh. And the, 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 the big story that people keep talking about is the quarterback battle continues to heat up. Gardner Minshew, Aiden O'Connell seem to be the two favorites. They've been battling it out the most and taking most of the snaps, mostly in the first half. Uh, Minshew may have shined a little brighter. He, he threw for over 100 yards. Through for a touchdown, and we're watching closely. That's good. That's good in my book as well. But let's go ahead and take you beyond the locker room with the guy who was there to witness it all firsthand, the Raiders digital team reporter, Mr. Levi Edwards. Um, thank you for joining us, by the way. So I have to ask you, Chloe wants to get into quarterbacks later on, which is going to be fun. But <laughs> I want to look at the other side of the ball. How did the defense look to you against the Vikings? Well, that first half, I really liked what I saw from the defense. They really looked cohesive. They communicated really well. Everything that I saw in training camp, the dominance I saw from the defense in training camp, it really transferred over. You had J.J. McCarthy get his welcome to the NFL moment from Jack Jones, who had two pick sixes last year. It's really great to see the defense was communicating. You saw a even a blocked field goal on special teams, which was awesome by UDFA, undrafted guy trying to make the team. So it's awesome to see all three phases of the game click in that defense. They looked really good with the fourth down stop by Ja'Korian Bennett. Really liked what I saw from that unit. And uh, how is the quarterback battle shaping up so far? What are, what are you seeing right now? Well, I see two guys that are hungry to take that job, and obviously one of the guys are going to have to really take the reins in practice this week. They're going to have to take the reins in this next upcoming preseason game. But obviously the, the Raiders' defense has been really good throughout training camp, so you kind of was wondering how things would shake up how things would look once they actually went against real competition that wasn't the Raiders' defense. And you saw two guys that went out there on that field on Saturday, and they had great games. Aiden O'Connell, in his drive, he looked poised. He looked accurate. He was able to move the ball around the field. Gardner Minshew, that gunslinger, was able to move the ball with his feet, get a first down, was able to throw a dart in the end zone to DJ Turner. He looked really cool, calm, and collected. You know that with the flow coming out of the helmet, everything <laughs> you want from a Raiders quarterback. So really, these are two guys. It's definitely a pick-your-poison kind of situation, but these are two guys that want this job really bad. He's got the locks flowing out of the helmet that, uh, you know, makes anyone look good. Uh, uh, when? Levi, when, when could we know who's going to be the quarterback as we start with regular season, Ooh. September 8th against the Chargers in Los Ooh. Angeles? Well, Antonio Pierce, he said yesterday uh, during his media availability that his mission is to have a starting quarterback named by this time next week. His goal is to be able to make this decision going into the last preseason game to close out the preseason before we get to week one against the Chargers. So really this week in this next preseason game is going to be extremely vital for this, you know, breakdown of who was going to be the quarterback. We've yeah. already seen so much on film and, and training camp. We've already seen one game of sample size. So really we're narrowing down this decision very soon. All right. The, the, the saying in football goes, if you have two quarterbacks, you have no quarterbacks. I'm sure you've heard that one before. Mm -hmm. Does Antonio Pierce believe that message too, that he's not going to let the guys split time through the season, that he's going to make this commitment to one and stick with it and ride it out? Well, just going based off of everything that he said so far, everything he said through training camp and even before training camp, everything he said in the offseason leading to this camp, he's made it very clear, like, we're going to make a decision on one guy and we're going to ride with that guy until the wheels fall off. So whoever wins this job should be confident that they're going to lead the Raiders throughout the season. And obviously the offense needs that chemistry. Obviously the offense needs those reps with one guy. So in my, in my belief, once a quarterback is named, that will be your quarterback for the 2024 Las Vegas Raiders. All right. Thank you so much. I'm looking forward to it. Um, me personally, yep. I like Gardner, but Aiden O'Connell, he just – I feel like the young guy might have it, but uh, Mr. Edwards, yeah. <laughs> thank you so much yeah, for Yeah, Levi, by. we're playing. I know you can't play favorites because you're trying to be the objective journalist Actually, there. Wait, 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 wait. Do you, do you have course. a favorite in a quarterback battle, by the way? Is your eye bigger on one quarterback compared to the other? Really, no. Uh, okay. Of course, I'm going to use the cliche, uh, whoever wins is my guy. That's what I'm going to say. <laughs> Good uh, answer. Obviously, who, whoever wins is my guy. But it's really a pick your poison kind yeah. of situation because you have two completely separate quarterbacks in the way that they operate. Gardner Minshew is kind of your improviser. He's going to make something happen. He's going to find a way to make a play. 
And Gardner Minshew, he comes in that pocket, and he's very accurate, and he's going to try to kind of dink and doink and, you know, find guys open and really process things. Just a lot more of a, a meticulous quarterback versus Gardner is a more free-flowing, I'm going to make this play, we in the backyard kind of quarterback. Really both effective either way you look at it. We're just going to see who can be more effective within this offense with yeah. Luke Getze. Levi Edwards writes on Raiders.com. You can find him on social media at the Levi Edwards on X. Levi, thank you. Thanks for being with us. Really thank appreciate it. Thank you so it. much. Great being with you guys. Talk to you again soon.